Hey guys, Isaac from Springer's Workshop here again. Um, today we've got something a little bit different for you than normal. We've got another one of our lithium installs that we've done on this van behind me. But today we're going to be focusing on pre-existing wiring in the system and why it's important that you let us know what's already there, how you want us to work around it, and what your end goal is for the system to all be working together. It's important that from the start of the job, we have a good idea of the customer's end goals and we can best work out a way to achieve that while utilising any existing electrics that are in there and also all of our products that we install here at Springers. To show you what I'm talking about, let's head inside and we'll have a look. Okay guys, so we're inside the van now and I'm just going to give you a quick run through of the system components before we dive into the nitty gritty of existing wiring. So if, to any of our Springer's frequent customers, you probably recognize a lot of the components in this install. We've got two Enerdrive 200 amp hour lithium batteries in parallel to form 400 amps at 12 volts. We've got a smart solar charge controller from Victron Energy, a DC-DC charger 30 amps once again from Victron Energy, and we've also got our MultiPlus 12 3000. So simultaneously an inverter and also an AC charger for when you're at caravan parks um, or you've got a generator handy. So that covers all of our three types of charging when you're in an off-grid system, solar, vehicle, and 240. So whatever application this system is gonna be used for, the customer is gonna be more than covered for recharging his loads. All right, so what I really wanna emphasize in this video is this projected distribution board down the bottom here. Now, that was put in by the manufacturers, not by Springers, so it was already existing in the van before it came to us. Um, in a perfect world, and as you've probably seen in a couple of our previous installs, we like to have all the space to ourselves as kind of a blank canvas, and then we can position things appropriately and design the system however we see fit. However, of course, very often there is pre-existing wiring in there, either done by the manufacturer in this case, or just by previous owners or some backyard 12 volt sparkies. So it's really important that we know what wiring is already in there so that we can design the system around that and to work in conjunction with that to provide you with the best case scenario at the end of the day. So the more information we know about what's already in there is going to be better for us. So if you can get us pictures, if you know exactly what's in there, you can tell us that. Or even if you've got any schematics or drawings of the caravan that you can provide us, that's also going to be useful in designing your system. Oftentimes we have to run these two systems pretty much together. It's obviously all coming off the same battery bank. It's all powering the same lights, um, all your general loads, fridge, everything in the caravan that needs power basically is coming through this power board here. So we do have to work in with it to an extent with our own equipment. But the good news is, is that you can have all of this stuff exactly the same as it came from the manufacturer. All our chargers and inverters and batteries do is add to that system. We don't take any of it away. So we're increasing your capabilities, not limiting them in any way whatsoever. Just another point to make guys as well, so you're aware, this pre-existing wiring, um, whatever it might be, from manufacturer, previous owner, whatever, is exactly the reason that Springers don't do uh, pre-made kits. Um, we design each system independent of the previous one, so no two systems are ever gonna be identical. And that just comes down to what the customer needs from us, what we can physically fit in the van, um, any other limitations, for example, existing systems, like you might come to us and only need a solar charger and a battery, and that's obviously gonna be a way different system and cost to someone like this who wants the full kit out. So it's really difficult to give you um, a proper system design unless we know exactly what you need, what's already there, what your goals are, and what physical space we've got to work within. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much it for this um, episode. Hope you learned something. Basically, what we need you to take away is that the more information you give us um, and the more accurate of the items that are already in there are what you want, the better we can design the system um, and be sure that it's going to work to the standard that you need it to. So, yeah, with that, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.